We've spent a lot of time over the past few months talking about how kids and children are increasingly becoming the victims of gun violence. And now, police tell us about this 16 year old who they say is responsible for some of that violence. He has been charged in the deaths of four people, and he's left a lot of hurt behind. I can't sleep. I can't eat because my grandson will never come home again. And I lost my heart. That was my baby. The morning of Christmas Eve, the woman you heard from there got the call that no one wants to get. Her 20-year-old grandson, Dai Wu Scruggs, had been gunned down while waiting for his bus to get to work. The shooter chased him down, firing at least 15 shots in his direction. The entire thing was caught on video. Police now say 16-year-old Amin Hurst was the one who pulled the trigger on that aspiring comedian. On March 20th, Hurst was arrested and charged in that murder. But in between Scruggs's murder and those charges, there was another shooting. That time, four people were shot in a car. Two of them died. Last week, Hurst was charged with those murders. And while he was behind bars, police took a closer look at a gun connected to him. That's when they discovered that gun was connected to another unsolved murder that we told you about as breaking news right after it happened in March. A 20 year old man who'd just been released from jail was gunned down on the grounds of the Curran Fromhold Correctional Facility. Police say it appears as though that man was the tragic victim of mistaken identity. Now, Hurst, he may be a teenager, but it certainly did take some time for the authorities to track him down. The fugitive team, as well as the U.S. Marshals, they were searching for him. They say he was aware that they were looking for him, and he was going from place to place. He is now in custody and facing charges as an adult. Reporting live this morning outside of police headquarters. I'm Pamela Osborne, NBC 10 News.